afternoon, YouTube, or whenever you're watching this. We have to go on a rescue mission. We have to uh, loosen that stock. Oh, I see. Um, but yeah, we've got to go on a rescue mission. So we've got to make this mower that we were going to use, but now have to unhook and then hook back up later. Um, but anyway, the 2670, they were running the old field call here. Watch your toes! And uh, apparently it started growling and then died, so we have to go get it now. Right? What? They started growling and then died? Uh, I think it's something wrong with the transmission or the clutch or something. I don't Something's wrong with it. We don't know yet what yet. So one of these days when we're not doing anything more important, which you know, this is every day. Every day. Yeah, we could. No, leave that open. It's air conditioner. I was gonna turn the air on. There is no air. There was the other day when I no, ran it. There is not. When did you run this? When I was running the forklift on it. Well, that's good. That hasn't been open in a while. Stuff falling out. Well, we got Grandpa going on the old cultivator. We uh, got the 26 unhooked and we got him going, so that's a good start anyway. And by the time we got over here, Clark uh, had got the 26 running and he's limping it back towards the shop, so I don't know if it'll make it yet or not, but we don't have to pull it as of the moment. And uh, I shut all the doors and windows because the air conditioning does kind of work in here. And uh, it works good enough for me to not have to get sandblasted because the wind is blowing mm, 12 million miles an hour. And the dust will just eat at you. So, yeah, it works good enough for me to not want to have to deal with that. Well, uh, that's a flail mower. I'm taking it to go hook on the U6 hooked up and uh, we've got to go mow a field of weeds um, I've already checked the tire pressure I might just try to race at it and then yeah I'm headed to the field now I'm supposed to go help harm load beans well <clears throat> he's loaded up he's running now but uh, he had me go to the gas station get him a drink and uh I decided to try their egg rolls because I've never had them before and um, I don't know what to think about it. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's also not great either. I don't know. So I'm going to give him his drink and then go hook up the tractor that more, I guess. Okay, so I got two, because they were, I don't know, she gave me two. And this one is actually more than what I was expecting. It's got like, I don't know what all it's got in it, but anyway, it's more of what I was expecting. First one was not. This one's actually pretty good. This, yeah, the first one, I don't even, I don't even know what that was, but this one's pretty good. Well, I'm off. I'm actually in the 22, because, uh, before I got done helping harm, <laughs> apparently Clark got the 806 hooked up and I guess he's going to mow too, so yeah, I, get, I came back and got the 22, so I have the big, I want to say it's like a 12 foot mower, anyway, it's hooked up and uh, wow, man, them rows are really not straight, the corn come up where he planted the first stuff. <clears throat> so it's up and uh, the end rows are not very straight. I'll have, to, I'll have to give him a heck about that here later. But uh, anyway, I'm headed over to the field we got to mow. Well, I just got done talking to Grandpa. He, I was driving past and he flagged me down. So and I stopped and talked to him and now we both know what the plan is so <coughs> um, yeah 
Ted's still over there. He's running. I think he just got full of fertilizer, so I dump my drink yet. So, uh, yeah. And he's about done with this field. So, I don't know what he's going to do after that. He might hook the finisher back up and come chase the mowers. But, I don't know. I don't think he knows yet either. So, we will see you in the weeds. Well, we're here. And I've got all the doors and window open because I was enjoying the cool air before I had to shut the door to keep my allergies from trying to kill me. But uh, yeah, we had a little we had a little malfunction here. Um, <sighs> I uh, yeah. Anyway. I was pulling in the lane right here and hit a hole and stuck several fingers right through the side of my cup and dumped probably three quarters of this on the floor and in my leg and my, mostly in my sock. Um, this has been like the uh, like third one I've spilled in, in the, this planting season. So yeah, that's fun. Um, I'm gonna go mow now because I'm very upset. Well, I don't know if you can tell. Well, here, hold on. There, there's the 806. Clark's where I'm at. Um, there is a wet spot down on the bottom of the hill. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go in there first because uh, that tractor is lighter than this one, and I don't want to get stuck. So, yeah, we're gonna let him go in there first to see if he's going to get stuck. Because if he gets stuck, I can pull him out. That's no problem. But if I get stuck, we're going to have to call harm to bring his tractor over here and I'm going to be fire and uh, pull, uh, pull this one out because that one will. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try to avoid that. So, yeah. I've made my first pass. You really can't tell because really not tall right here, but, uh, yeah. He's getting the, uh, end rows on the other side knocked out, so. Yeah, um, this is going to take us a while. There's 100 acres here, and we have two 12-foot mowers, so we'll be here for a while. Well, it's taken me all of, mm, 25 minutes to break something. I'm not exactly sure what, but, uh, Something's banging at full throttle, so um, and I've got to go take care of harm anyway. So I'm gonna go to his house, and grab a vehicle, and go pick him up at his next spot because he's taking his truck and trailer full of beans there. And I've got to take him back to his planter. So and then maybe I can con him into helping me figure out what's wrong with this thing because it won't. I it won't do it at idle. It just does it when I'm mowing. So I think I hit a dirt pile and bent the side of the mower in, and it's just hitting just enough that it only does it at full throttle. So I don't know. I think I'm either going to run it until it pre presents itself or run it until it fixes itself. So we're just going to keep giving her. Got to load him up, and then take his truck around to the next field, and then I get to I get to go back to mowing. Hooray! Well, I've made it back to the tractor. Um, I went about around, and I had to get out and adjust my lights because um, they were still set to the auger, and there's only two on this tractor that work. So, uh, yeah. Clark's pretty lucky over there. He's got an open station cat. He's got an open station tractor, but uh, he's got a lot more lights on his tractor than I do mine, and he can, I guarantee, see a lot better. But uh, yeah, we're chugging along here. Turn down the static. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know how long I'm gonna run, but probably for a while yet. So. 
I'll catch up back to you when something interesting happens, I guess. So, uh, right now I'm making kind of an end row for myself because if I go any farther north, chances are uh, probably a 98% that I will get stuck. And I really don't care to do that tonight. So, uh, since this light, the tractor only has two lights on it, I, I have kind of made of myself a no-fly zone so I know where to turn around at so I don't get stuck. Because that would be really bad. I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, and uh, I kind of wish Clark would come over here and see actually how wet this is because his lights are a lot better than mine and he can see a lot better. But, um, yeah, that's all I've got done so far. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's dark. You can't see me. Can you see me now? That was... Yeah, I'm not sure if that may, that uh, take will make it in the video, but I really hope that it does because that was pretty funny. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, his lights are on. I can hopefully shut this one off now. Um, maybe if the truck starts. Oh, it went dark on me again. How do I turn these lights on? There we go. Um, yeah. Harm called me and needs more beans, so. And my tractor was closer to his than his tractor, so. I walked over and got his truck, so now we're gonna go load beans. Clark had to go, well, he was about out of fuel, so I don't know if he quit for the night or I drive around that mud hole I just tripped in. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if he went to get more fuel or if he just went home to go to bed, come back in the morning. I don't know. But he just texted us and said he was about out of fuel, and then somebody came and got him. So I don't know. I guess if he shows back up, I'll. Well, I guess you can probably kill that. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go load beans now. Well, uh, Clark didn't go to bed. He went and got the blue tractor and brought it over to uh, work what's been mowed. So, uh, I've stepped it up a notch because he's a lot lighter than me and he'll catch up to me in a rather big hurry. So, and then Harm is right over there planting away. So, we got three tractors within, uh, I don't know, a quarter mile of each other, so that's kind of cool, that doesn't happen very often for us. Well, it sounds like Harm almost got his planter stuck, so he's going to be done planting for the night, and uh, this power ship. Nothing is quite wet or it went right today, so I think we might be done for the night, so And it's supposed to rain here shortly anyway, so um, Actually, I've already been looking at the lightning for a little bit now and uh, um, Yeah, so we're going to take the planter and put it back in the shed. And then... Well, I'm going to ride with him back to the shop. We're going to leave this here. And uh, we're going to get my truck out from the shop and his dad's truck from the shop. Because his truck was over here hooked to the, the uh, gooseneck and had beans on it. But... Uh, Clark went ahead and took that, so, um, yeah, so I think we're going to be wrapping it up for the night, unless he decides that he wants to come back and run this finisher some more on the blue tractor, and that looks like it's got mud on the tires too, which doesn't surprise me. 
so. We'll let this tractor cool out for a few minutes before uh, I shut it off because it's actually getting kind of hot. I'm sure the radiator's full of weeds. Bad until uh, the last round. It's always the last round. What'd you do here, Harm? Yeah. And it's always the the last round's always the worst because uh, that's when you quit. Because if you went on another round, it would have got worse. We try not to... The worst part is, the worst of it is on the tractor tracks where it started, the tractor started to stop. Oh, that's good. I didn't have any that bad, but there was a few spots that was awful muddy. There's definitely ruts back there. That'll be good on the bean head. mud out than have to pull the tractor out. You mean have to pull the tractor out and clean mud out? Not too. I'm going to stand here and hold the flashlight and watch him work for a few more minutes and then we're going to go. Well, we've drove, what, three miles? Yeah, almost, almost three miles and there's still mud coming off the tractor. Um, I would have assumed that it would have all flown off by the time you know, we got up to speed, but I don't know, it's still flying off for whatever reason. Well, we've made it back to the barn. <coughs> the planter's sitting out there. The corn planter's still running, Ned's still running. We, <laughs> we went by them and Grandpa was sitting in the truck, passed out. He's asleep, which is no big deal because he's not doing anything anyway. He's just tending Ned when he needs to, but uh, I think it's almost four o'clock now. So, yeah, I th he's uh, got, I think, three rounds left of that field, and then he'll be done for the night. Because as of right now, we are out of dry ground, dry enough ground. Because what harm was in last is mm, not where we'd like it to be. Oh, there's rain coming though. Yeah, I've been, I've been looking at the radar every once in a while to keep me half awake and uh yeah it's coming it's in illinois right now i think so yeah yep he's ready to go to bed he's on his he's uh, coming in to unhook the tender so he can go to bed well uh i think surely he's on his last round by now um, we got Grandpa on hook and we sent him home. Um, we've kind of been reorganizing our, what seed we have left. Reorganizing, of course, you know, organizing it again. Uh, we gotta wait on Dad to get Dad to. Ah. Gotta wait on Ned to get done so he can black his corn planter in and then we can get the bean planter in here. Because the corn planter goes against the wall. The bean planter won't go near as close to the wall. He's coming back in now.
Not a bad old tractor. It smokes a lot now, more than it used to, but it's got... It's like a hazy compared to what it is. Yeah, it's kind of burning my eyes a little bit, but... Uh, Grandpa bought this 4020 brand new. I believe it's a 65. 67. Um, but yeah, he bought it brand new. They had a homemade cab on it at one point. And then Ned's been using it to grind his feed for many years, and it just got brand new tires on it uh, yesterday, I believe. So, not a bad tractor. It's got like 12,000 hours on it. Well, it's like 5.30 in the morning. So, I'm going to bed. It's, yeah, this is the end of the video. I'm, I've had a long day. I'm going to bed. See you guys in the next one.